video is for my reference and uh, other users that have problems with uh, Debian 12 and for my future needs, just in case I forget. Um, we're going to be talking about the uh, installing fail to ban on Debian 12. There are so many um, tutorials out there. However, I had a hard time getting it to work. Um, so in this video, I will show you some of the uh, uh, ways of getting it to work on Debian 12. <clears throat> and uh, I will also reference this uh, URL where you can uh, get some additional information. And uh, in this uh tutorial over here for example they um are talking about copying creating a copy of the uh a fail to ban configuration which is the default location and create a local uh which will prevent uh from overriding the changes in the future updates um and unfortunately when you copy this file is um copying the whole config uh and um i could not get it to work um, we need also the firewall um, to uh, control the access to the uh, server. So I'm going to be using the UFW firewall. And also um, from information on the internet, uh, looks like the reason why it fails with the default installation, it's due to the fact that it does not come pre-installed with um, RSYSLOG. Uh, Debian 12, the previous uh, editions had that installed. I did not try this uh, yet. Uh, suppose you just need to install this package and be done with it. In our case, we're just going to include in our custom configuration the system that it's built in, the system D, and uh, we're going to be using uh, as a ban action a UFW file, as I mentioned. So um, uh, in this example, I have uh, two virtual machines. On one of them, I have the uh, uh, Debian 12. Uh, and on the second one, I have the Alma Linux 9.4, I believe. Uh, we're going to log into Alma Linux and we're going to try to remote in uh, to Debian. And we're going to do um, a few attempts and see if we get banned. OK, so uh, first of all, uh, let's go back to the uh, fail to ban um, on Debian. Um, uh, so that needs to be installed. A firewall UFW has to be installed. And also we need to configure root access. By default, if you use um, some sort of a VPS hosting out there, uh, the root is enabled by default. But if you download Debian 12 net install uh, ISO, uh, they um, make you um, to create a local user. And that user has uh, SSH access, root is disabled by default. So we have to first um, address that. I'm going to enable root access since um, you need to install packages and uh, going sudo, going to root, it's um, a little uh, bit of an annoyance. So let's get the uh, root enabled. So uh, just to show you guys, we're just going to try to log in as, uh, as a root user right now to Debian server. So First, I need to log into Alma Linux. So we're going to do uh, SSH connection in terminal. On Alma Linux, uh, root user is enabled by default. Okay, so we logged in to Alma Linux, as you can see, as a root user, and then we we'll try to connect as root user to Debian. So I'm going to type in the password, which is correct. As you can see, it refuses to connect as root user. Okay, so we're gonna log in as a, a user I created on Debian when I was installing it.
okay so we are logged in as you can see we are logged in at user now we need to switch to the root account okay now we logged in uh as root in uh in debian now we have to make some modifications so uh, before we do anything uh you can run uh, update comments to make sure everything is up to date i think my uh distro is already updated so you run up update and type in dash y oops sorry uh space and we can run upgrade why okay nothing to upgrade okay we're gonna clear this um so the first thing we're gonna need to do is um conf configure root access uh for ssh so we're gonna do nano editor and we're gonna do etc ssh and the config file is sshd underscore config okay in here we need to find a permit root login <laughs> should be somewhere on the top here we go okay we're gonna do permit root login and we're gonna space and type in yes okay now i do Control x it's gonna ask us to save the file we say yes y and then hit enter all right now that we have that we need to restart ssh okay now we can uh exit this connection as root uh we now are a speeder user so we're gonna exit that as well and i'm gonna ssh as a root to the uh, debian as you can see it's working okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna close this connection clear this i have a um, program called termius for the mac and i'm just gonna uh, use this uh, my second terminal uh, to access debian all right so we logged in as root as you can see i use the root access and uh, we just logged in to our debian server now we have to do some um, modifications all right so first thing we need to install fail to ban Uh, yes. Okay, now we're gonna install. Um, sorry. The firewall. You have W. Yes. Okay, we're gonna clear this. We're gonna enable the firewall. Uh, that will allow the um, firewall to start with the system uh, when it's rebooted. Okay, the next thing we need to allow is to uh, connections through the firewall. So what we're gonna do you uh, W allow SSH. Okay, and we have to reload that to apply all the new policies. Fantastic. Okay, so now we allow the access. We have the firewall. We have the uh, uh, fail to ban. Now what we have to do is uh, configure. Uh, the config for fail to ban all right so again going back to the um, 
website as you can see they asking us to uh, copy the config file in my case I'm just gonna create a clean so I just copy that uh, destination and the file name and um, what we're gonna do is type in nano and create that config file okay now this config file is currently empty and I have in my notes and which I provide this on the website the config so we have to paste that uh, the default section we have to include this this is something that does not come by default the firewall doesn't come by default you have to uh, enable band time uh, so I'm gonna do one minute for default is uh, 10 uh, minutes uh, but for testing I'm just gonna do, gonna do one minute uh, the fine time it's uh, the time how long um, you have uh, for the max retry uh, so within 15 minutes if three times uh, fails then it's gonna get triggered uh, the next thing we have to enable sshd um, uh, policy over here to be enabled port sshd uh, where the logs go and uh, how many max retry there are on website some additional information how you can configure other services uh, like http uh, uh, FTP uh, and so on so you can include that uh, in your config so uh, with this out of the way we have the all the informations we need uh, we're gonna hit control X it's gonna ask us to save we say Y for yes and we hit enter all right so this was uh, configured now what we need to do is enable fail to ban to run with the system so fail to ban okay and then we have to start the service okay and we can check the status All right, so it says active loading and we got no uh, serious errors and the script is working. So the fail to ban is working. Control C to exit this out. Now, uh, we just have to um, run a, a test. So we can uh, run a command to show us in real time uh, what is happening with our fail to ban if someone's trying to access it. Okay, so we're gonna clear this. I call this by tail dash f and we got the location of the log okay when we run it we can see okay so now we can uh, try to uh, uh, we logged into uh, a llama as you can see uh, we inside the llama and we're gonna try to fail three times to see if the blocking is working so we're gonna do let's say root dead in server okay we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna IP okay. Uh, one nine two, not one nine zero two. Okay, it's asking us for a password. I'm just gonna make something up. Okay, as you can see, it shows that we had one access, failed access, second failed access, and third failed access, and then we got a ban. Okay, so we got ban. Now, if we try to connect one more time, it's going to say connection refused. So it's working. So right now we, we're being blocked and there is no access. Uh, after one minute, we'll wait one minute. We'll see uh, an update that will show us that our IP got uh, unbound.
Okay, uh, we got the uh, communication that uh, failed to ban unbanned our IP, and now we can log in. I'm gonna enter the proper password. As you can see, we have access to Debian. Okay, I'm um, just gonna exit this out, and we're gonna try this with three failed attempts. All right, we got banned. If I try this one more time, see it says connection refused. So uh, it's working. Uh, I hope uh, that will help other users that have the same problem as I did. Thank you so much for watching.